Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today I'll be taking you through how I got a 5 on the AP Physics 1 exam. Make sure to subscribe for more videos in our How to Get a 5 series, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so my experience. Your experience in AP Physics 1 will depend a lot on your course and your teacher. So my course, it was online, and there was a lot of homework and labs that were assigned. And so if your class is in person, online, it doesn't really matter, but if you're getting assigned a lot of homework and labs, then obviously you're going to head into that exam a lot more prepared. If you're not being assigned a lot of homework and labs, that can be fine. Just make sure that you're getting in enough studying to be prepared for the exam on your own. So any additional information that you think you need to know for the exam, go ahead and study that. Or if you're behind, if your class is behind, so this is the other big thing. You, we covered content at a steady pace in our class. If your class is falling behind in pace, you have to go ahead and work ahead. Otherwise, you're not going to be prepared for the exam. Because some units are harder than others, and if you're studying those easy units and you get behind in those, and then you have to learn the harder units at a faster pace, you're going to be in big trouble when that exam comes. So you have to make sure you're covering content at a steady pace or even a little ahead in case you get to a unit where you get stuck on it. So that's very important. Additionally, some free response questions and rarely multiple choice questions were assigned in my course. If your course isn't assigning a lot of free response questions, you need to be doing those on your own, right? So that's what I had to do in those months before the exam is I had to go look up free response questions on my own and study those in order to prepare for the exam. Because if your class isn't assigning those and you have to do those on the exam, it can be very, very difficult to grasp those. So make sure you're getting practice free response questions in on your own. Additionally, in our course, we rarely did multiple choice questions. We focused a lot on solving problems numerically, which isn't tested a ton on the exam. We didn't really focus on solving things conceptually like is commonly tested. So that was a big disadvantage for us in that course and me and my classmates. So I would definitely recommend you want to know how to solve things numerically, but you also really want to know how to solve things conceptually. So if your class is focusing too much on the numeric side of solving problems, go ahead and study how to solve things conceptually on your own. And likewise, if your class is studying things too conceptually, go ahead and study a little bit numerically as well. All right, my textbook. It was used heavily. And in addition to my textbook, I watched Dan Fullerton's review videos. I would highly recommend Dan Fullerton's review videos. You can look up Dan Fullerton AP Physics 1 review videos on YouTube. He's got a bunch of them. So any topic you need help with, go ahead and look that up. I'd highly recommend them. They're very useful. As far as prep books go, I did not buy a prep book and I did not use a prep book because I think that there's enough information online that if you need help, you can look up Dan Fullerton, Bozeman Science. I think there's enough, enough videos for AP Physics 1 that you can get enough review and prep in on your own without buying a prep book. All right, so my study tips. Number one study tip is practice test, practice test, and practice test again. If you go through, there's about, I think, three or four years of AP Physics 1 practice tests at this point. Make sure that you, I would recommend taking all of them because there's only three or four of them, but you want to make sure you're taking these practice tests that you're familiar with the free response questions and how they're scored. So you want to take the practice test and then go find the scoring guidelines for that practice test and see how it's scored. That way you know what work you have to show, what work to leave out, how in-depth your answers have to be, so you're not wasting time writing things unnecessarily on the AP exam. Tip number two, you want to understand physics principles conceptually. That's something my class really struggled with because we focus too much on solving things numerically. You have to be able to understand the concepts of AP Physics 1. If you don't, then that's going to get you in big trouble on the exam. Number three, you also want to know how to solve things numerically. It's a good balance. You want to be able to balance the two. So you need to practice solving for variables and kinematics and things like that. Next, you want to be able to use your equation sheet. Okay, don't waste time. And that's my next one, number five. Don't waste time memorizing equations. Rely on that equation sheet. You want to know how to use it. So practice going back and forth in problems to your equation sheet and don't waste time trying to memorize equations like kinematic formulas or anything because you're going to have them on the exam, so you'll be okay. Make sure you understand and review algebra, because you need to know algebra in order to solve for variables. Next, make sure you're taking practice multiple choice exams. Practice multiple choice exams are helpful in AP Physics 1, because a lot of those can test things conceptually and numerically, and if you're not able to answer multiple choice questions, then it's, you're going to have to really ace that free response question. You don't, have, you don't want to have to rely too heavily on one part of the exam, so you want to keep that balance. Finally, make sure you're watching review videos. So Dan Fullerton, like I said, Bozeman Science, any other review video you can find, any other review site you can find, make sure that you're using your resources. All right, and finally, make sure you subscribe to Permanent Test Prep for more in our How to Get a 5 video series. And thank you for watching, and have a great day.